Welcome, welcome, welcome. Hello, I'm your host, Mrs. M. And if you haven't, make sure you click the link below. That way you can subscribe to my channel and not miss out on anything you need to scale your business to six figures and beyond. How? So if you're looking to win your first contract, it can be quite challenging. So I'm gonna talk about some things that you can do right now today to implement to help that along. So the average person wins their first contract anywhere between 18 months and 36 months, which is between a year and a half and three years. Oh my goodness. So what can we do to make sure that we look at winning ours a lot faster? Well, one of the things I personally did was become a subcontractor. Subcontracting is a must. A lot of large uh, contractors must use small contractors and you can benefit from that. But the problem is, how do you find the prime contractors how do you know if you're a great fit and how can you get them to be interested in you? There's a lot of small businesses out there. Why you? Well, I'm going to give you a couple places that you can go and a couple things you can do to make you a lot more attractive. So the first thing you could actually go on to subnet.gov. Subnet.gov has a host of prime contractors looking for subcontractors and you can also look within your state. That means you're looking for them. They'll give you a list of the primary NAX codes and they'll give you a list of additional. Make sure you take your time, look, and then once you find one, they always have the email information, phone number, everything you need right there. What's the first thing I would do? I would actually look at their website, look at what their culture is to make sure it feels good for you. Once you've done that, then you wanna send out your introduction letter. What? You absolutely need an introduction letter. So your intro letter should have your company, your information, and the most important thing is your secret sauce. What is that thing that's gonna actually set you apart from the other companies? You wanna work on that. So you could say, my company you know, actually saves this particular government agency money by doing one, two, three. Make sure you name what it is, and then give three bullets to support, to validate what it is that you say you're doing. Make sure you put that in your introduction letter and I guarantee you, at the very least, it will make them stop and look because when you're talking about saving the government money, that is something they really pay attention to. So the first thing is subnet.gov. The second is usaspending.gov. usaspending.gov will give you a host of information on who are your buyers and which of the companies, the prime contractors are listed in there as well, that will give you a lot of information about the prime contractor. What can you do? You can simply Google them. Google the prime contractors. Once again, go to their information, look at what they have on their website, and then most times they will have a procurement page. Anytime you're looking at anything, whether it be with your state or your local, federal, procurement is the key word that you're looking for. So if you're looking for anything within your state, look for the procurement page. Most companies have a procurement page. Visit them, once again, reach out to them, mainly via email, sending them that introduction letter that you should already have ready. The third place you can go is to NaxCode. You can actually go to naxcode.com and they will put the prime contractors or the prime companies that have won contracts, which is normally gonna be, of course, the prime contractors. And what you can do is once again, once you visit the naxcode.com, you can simply reach out to the top agencies are gonna have those listed and you can send them your introduction letter. Now, I cannot emphasize enough what you need to have in your, in your introduction letter. You should have an introduction letter to introduce yourself to, some, to prime contractors, to teaming, which could be other individuals that you're, you've you know, ran across this large contract, you wanna break it down. You wanna make sure that you have a joint venture agreement where if you come across two companies, yourself and another company, where you simply wanna put something together to do a joint venture. Now, teaming agreements and joint venture agreements are totally different. One is for when you're looking at doing the sub and the contracting, and the other is when you have two companies coming together, most times you're forming another company to, add, to actually go after a particular contract or to go after a series of contracts together equally. You wanna make sure you have all that ready. But I cannot emphasize enough the introduction letter. Like I said, the one thing that I used when I was looking at being a subcontractor was this exact sample. 
I made sure that I put my own personal information in paragraph number one. In paragraph number two, I then made sure that I had the information for my company. So I made sure I had the information for my company. And then the third thing I did is I made sure that I talked about what we do differently. That's what I call my secret sauce, your differentiator, your yes. That's where you call your earning system. If you do it right, it's gonna earn you serious money. Then you want to put in my company XYZ saves agencies money by saves them time by and then list what it is and give three compelling reasons why they should stop and listen to you if this is done correctly your call to action your cta should be that they're reaching out to you for capability statements they're reaching out to you for capability briefings and then of course you want to end up actually winning a contract with them and it's always nice to win a contract so if you win it by being a prime great but do not let a lot of time go by where you haven't seen any action and you're still waiting on being a prime where you may have to enter the actual contracting as a subcontractor. I know an individual that worked as a subcontractor and still has been doing this for over 10 years and has no interest in being a prime. There's a lot of advantages to being a subcontractor and they simply enjoy it. So don't allow any opportunities to pass you by we are getting started in 2023. Don't look up and next thing you know it's 2024 and you have not won your first contract or one of many. So if you want to learn more, then this is what you can do. You can look at the link below, sign up for my gov contracting. I'm going to talk about basic gov contracting and then I'm going to talk about subcontracting or the middleman method, which really are one in the same. I love, love, love to see you there. It'll be this Wednesday at 12 noon. Space is limited, so make sure you click the link to sign up now. Also, I'll have a link that takes you to a couple of items I just spoke about, joint venture agreements, teaming agreements, teaming partners, and the subnet, usaspending.gov and next.com. So looking forward to seeing you. I'll look forward to you signing up and registering for the free masterclass. And until next time, be safe and take care. Bye-bye.